Hey, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Tippecanoe Valley High School, home of the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. Steve Stricker here for RTC TV4. Tonight we have volleyball action here between the Lady Vikings and the Lady Golden Eagles from Oak Hill High School. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to our coverage tonight on RTC TV4. And this ought to be a great game. This is a non-conference matchup here between Tippy Valley and Oak Hill. And you got two teams coming in here with very strong uh, volleyball programs. Oak Hill comes in with a 13-6 and record on the season. Head coach for the Golden Eagles is Christy Carmichael. Oak Hill is located just outside of Converse, Indiana, if you're not familiar with that. For the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings, they come into tonight's contest with a 12-11 record on the season, coached by Mallory Eaton. And you can see the girls doing a little game of keep away or something here to get warmed up. We got about 10 minutes to go before we get kicked off here with the varsity contest. The Vikings won the junior varsity contest two games to zero over the Lady Eagles Junior Varsity. Uh, both games very close. The second set, set was 25-23 in favor of the Vikings. So it ought to be a great contest. For Oak Hill, uh, they come in. A couple of the leaders here for the team. Taylor Westgate leads the team. She is a junior in kills with 160 kills on the season. She has a 39.7% kill percentage and a 283 hit percentage. She has 403 attempts and has 46 errors. Serving wise, the Lady Eagles are led by a senior, Lexi Carmichael. She has 27 aces on the season. 0.5 aces per set, 11.1% ace percentage on 244 service attempts. Another senior, Kenzie Price, leads the team in blocking. In 58 sets played, she has 42 blocks. 0.7 blocks per set. 2.2 blocks per match. In digging, the leader for the Golden Eagles, another senior, Brittany McCorkle. In 58 sets played, she has 204 digs with 3.5 digs per set, 10.7 digs per match. Uh, this is one that I find a little interesting here for the Lady Eagles. In ball handling, usually your setter is heads in uh, way above the rest of the team, but they have two girls here with a pretty close number in assists. The senior Lexi Carmichael has 251 assists on 58 sets played. 4.3 assists per set. And then a junior, number 15, Ella Ridgeway, is also up there with 197 assists in 58 sets played. So uh, a little bit of uh, tag team action going on there with the setting duties it looks like here for the Golden Eagles. In the service receiving, the Golden Eagles led by Brittany McCorkle, a senior. In 58 sets played, she has 299 receives with 5.2 per set and 15.7 per match. The Lady Eagles are 4-1 in conference play. 
13 and 6 overall, as I said earlier. For Tippecanoe Valley Vikings, with a 12 and 11 record, they are 3 and 3 in TRC play. They are led in uh, a lot of categories by senior number 10, Sophie Buzzard. Uh, Sophie leads them in attacking. She has 220 kills, 3.6 kills per set, 44.4 percent kill percentage, 496 attempts in 61 sets played. So we'll just go down the list here for Sophie. She also leads the team in serving, actually second in serving. Uh, Shriver, Shaley Shriver, leads the team with 49 aces. Sophie has 27. So Shriver, another senior here for Tippecanoe Valley, has 49 aces, a 18.8% ace percentage. 261 service attempts, 90% service rating, and 160 points scored. In blocking, a junior, Mackenzie Woodcox, leads the team with 61 sets played and a total of 37 blocks, averaging out to 0.6 blocks per set and 1.9 blocks per match. Sophie Buzzard leads the team in digging as well. She has 132 digs with a 2.2 dig per set average on 61 sets played. Senior Sarah Myers leads the Vikings in ball handling. She has 205 assists on 49 sets played with 4.2 assists per set. And a 529 ball handling average. And only 23 ball handling errors. Service receiving. Hannah Jasma. Jansma. A senior leads the team in receiving with 226 service serves received, only 31 errors. She does 3.7 average reserves, uh, receives per set and 11.3 receives per match. So that kind of rounds out a little bit of what we got coming up here with these two squads. It ought to be a great matchup here. I would look for this one to go definitely deeper than three sets. I don't see either one of these teams dominating and taking this one in three. So we look forward to a good battle here between Tipkin Valley and Oak Hill. First time I've gotten a chance to come over here and call a volleyball game for the Lady Vikings. So uh, You'll have to forgive me a little bit if I don't get everybody's name. I'll work on that as we get through the set. So, big week here at Tippecanoe Valley. It is homecoming week. And they have just a, a small game coming up here on Friday. Uh, this is my first time this closely uh, associated with the Bell game. I've heard about it, obviously, for years. But covering both Rochester and Tiffany Valley, the uh, the rivalry between the, the two schools obviously very close in proximity. Uh, share a lot of county turf in uh, Fulton County. And the rivalry is is definitely alive and well. The two schools both doing very well this year. Uh, Rochester comes in with a 6-0 record on the season, looking to remain perfect. Uh, Tippecanoe Valley uh, has done very well here in the last couple games with a big win over Whitco two weeks ago, and then they went on the road last week and got a big TRC win at Manchester. So this has a lot of implications, not only bragging rights for the two schools, uh, it's a home game here for Tippecanoe Valley, so they obviously want to get that win, but there's a lot of TRC 
implications with this game. Tipke Valley comes in with a 2-1 record in the TRC. And Rochester at 3-0. The winner of uh, this game on Friday is going to have a huge advantage for the remainder of the season to uh, get a chance to come out of the North Division of the TRC. Uh, Three Rivers Conference has two divisions, obviously a North and a South in football. And both divisions, very closely contested, could very well come down to the final week. You got Southwood and McConaughey, who is a surprising uh, five and one on the season, doing very, very well down in Southern Miami County. So that's going to come down probably to the last game of the uh, season before the TRC crossover. Southwood and McConaughey are going to be playing over at Southwood, I believe, for that one. So a lot of uh, great football matchups coming up here in the next couple weeks in the TRC, uh, including the big bell game coming up on Friday here at Tiffany Valley. So uh, both teams getting lined up here. We're going to get some starting lineups and get going here from Tiffany Valley here in just a few minutes. All right, so we're going to get some starters here. We're going to start out with the visitors from Oak Hill High School. Number seven, Alyssa Thompson. Number eight, Julianne Gosbaugh. Number nine, Chloe Reigns. Number 11, Taylor Westgate. Number 15, Ella Ridgeway. Starting out with Earl, number 29, Brittany McCorkle. And now starting for the Golden Eagles, number one, Alexi Carmichael. Number three, Alyssa Carmichael. Number five, Abby Shaw. Number 12, Kenzie Price. Number 13, Chloe Price. Number 14, Ashley Transfer. And the coach, Christy Carmichael. All right, the starters for Oak Hill. Now we're going to get your starters here for the home team, the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. It is cancer pink out night here at Tippecanoe Valley. So you see a lot of pink in the audience. We got number three, Amy Baca. Number four, Anna Walters. Number five, Kennedy Brooks. Number six, Rachel Rendell. Number eight, Hannah Durkers. Bacchus, Allison Benton. All right, so they threw me off here. <laughs> so that was the non starters. So the starters for both squads here have been announced. We're going to get the national anthem and get going here.
All right, here we go. It's going to be a great contest here at Tippecanoe Valley High School between the Lady Golden Eagles from Oak Hill High School and your Tippecanoe Valley Lady Vikings. Looking forward to uh, a great one here tonight. Christy Carmichael, the head coach of Oak Hill, comes in at 13-6 and six on the season. Mallory Eaton, the head coach of the Lady Vikings, they come in at 12-11 and 11 on the season. This is a non-conference match here between the two squads. Oak Hill comes up to Tippecanoe Valley from the Converse, Indiana, just west of Marion on State Road 18. Two schools very similar in size. So uh, this ought to be a great contest here. The Tippecanoe Valley Lady Vikings wearing the pink out, pink jerseys tonight. Oak Hill in the navy blue. You can see the libero for Oak Hill wearing a white jersey. It's going to be Brittany McCorkle. And the libero here for Tippecanoe Valley wearing the gray. So Tippecanoe Valley with the first serve. Shaley Shriver. And a nice block there by Buzzard. Sophie goes up for the kill, and it goes down for Buzzard for the first point of the match here for the Lady Vikings. Shriver with the serve here, second serve of the match. Free ball crossed. Set, Buzzard with the big hit, and that goes down for the second kill here early for the senior. Well, you can see early why she leads the team in kills. Does very well, a very, very talented basketball player as well for the Lady Vikings. And that one would have went long, but the Golden Eagles decided to play it. And there is a kill, and that is out. Trains here, unable to get that one down for go the uh, Golden Eagles. And there is a misplay off of the service receipt by Oak Hill in Tippecanoe Valley up quickly, four to zero. Set number one. Shriver with her fifth serve, doing very well from behind the service line to get things started here for the Vikings. Gonna go far side. And they call that a double hit on the set attempt by Myers. So it's gonna give Golden uh, Eagles their first service attempt here of the night. Buzzard goes up, gets that one down for another kill here for the senior. All right, so the score 5-1 here early in set number one. Tiffany Valley back to serve again. Hannah Ingstrand with the serve for the Vikings. That one rolls over, a good recovery, set across. Big kill, that one's tipped. Good recovery there by Tiffany Valley. They do get it back crossed. A little tip across by Oak Hill. Change of pace, good reset. Big hit, good job by Tip New Valley. That one's blocked back by Buzzard and by Baca. Hard earned point there for the Vikings. Strand back for her second serve here for Tippecanoe Valley. That first pass is off the mark, but Oak Hill is able to recover. 
Free ball crossed. Big shot, and that goes down for the big center hitter for Oak Hill, Ashlyn Trainzer. It's going to give Oak Hill the serve here, trailing 6-2. to two. The libero McCorkle. And that was a great job there by Buzzard getting up. You can see her leaping ability. Able to tip that one across, stays way out of the net. Gets the point for Tipkin Valley and then goes back here for the serve. That's trouble. Good recovery. What a play there by number 13, Ingstrand. But all for naught as Oak Hill is able to uh, set that one down. But that was a great effort play right there by Ingstrand to uh, recover after that bad pass. And the jump serve dug out by Buzzard. goes down. Another kill for Buzzard. And the Vikings leading 8-3 to three here in set number one. Hannah Jansma going back to serve here for Tippecanoe Valley. And uh, that's an ace for Jansma. Goes off of uh, Selleck. have a timeout. Oak Hill wants to talk things over here with the Vikings leading 9-3 early here in set number one. We're going to take a break. Be right back. You're watching RTC TV4's coverage of Tippecanoe Valley Vikings Volleyball. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherds offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today, online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe, online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, welcome back here. Tipkin Valley continues their serve, leading 9-3 to three here early in set one. A lot of contact with the net, no call, and that's a big kill for Oak Hill. Get that one to go down in the middle of the back row. Gives the Golden Eagles their fourth point of the set. And the serve, it's going to be number 15, Ella Ridgeway. A junior here for Oak Hill, back to serve. Oh, big shot, and that's going to go down. Great kill there by number seven, Shaley Shriver. Gives the Vikings their tenth point of the match, of the set. Back now to serve. Allison Miller for Tiffany Valley. That one drops in just inside the line for Oak Hill. Makes the score 10-5. Oak Hill with the serve, number 13. Chloe Price back to serve here for the Eagles. Price with the knuckleball gets it across. And that one's going to sail way long that time for Carmichael. And that's going to send Kennedy Brooks back to serve for Tiffany Valley. Vikings lead 11-5 here early in set number one. 
Left-handed serve for Brooks. And a big shot blocked by Buzzard. Recovered. That one's going to trail out long. Brooks with another serve here for the Vikings. Vikings up 12 to 5. A big shot. That one was tipped at the line. So that is going to be a point for the Golden Eagles. Making the score 12 to 6. Sending number 5, Abby Shaw, back here to serve for Oak Hill. Set the buzzard, and that one goes down. Buzzard having a great first set here. 13 to six, gives the ball back here. Schreiber's gonna go back to serve now for Tiffany Valley. And misplayed there by Carmichael. Lexi Carmichael on that one. Gives the Vikings their 14th point. Shriver back here with another serve. Those serves are tantalizingly close to the back line. Buzzard with a shot, deflected and goes down. Buzzard with her sixth kill here early. Vikings leading 15 to 6. Oak Hill gets across. Set. Nice job there. Myers changes it up. Buzzard sets it across. There's a shot and a kill for number 14, Trainzer. Trainzer. Breaking the serve of the Vikings. So trailing 7 to 15 here. It's going to be Alexi Carmichael back to serve for the Golden Eagles. Buzzer comes way across there, gets the kill. But they're going to say. Nope, that was in. I thought it was in. It looked like they pointed to Oak Hill. So the point for. Tiffany Valley. Ingstrand back to serve here. Was that tipped? Was not. It was way out of bounds on the attempt. So we got another timeout on the floor with the Vikings leading 17-7 here in set number one. We're going to take a quick break watching RTC TV4's coverage of Tiffany Valley Vikings volleyball. We'll be right back. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, welcome back. We are in set number one here between the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings and the Oak Hill Golden Eagles. Vikings leading 17 to seven, and they have the serve Hannah Ingstrom back. On the serve for Tiffany Valley. Oh, and a big time kill by Amy Baca. It goes out of bounds off of the block of the Golden Eagles. Ingstern back here for the serve. 18-7, Vikings with the lead. 
Nice change of pace right there. Good dig out by Oak Hill. And that kill attempt goes into the net. Jansma couldn't get it uh, quite over the net, so it's going to go back here. We're going to have number 29 McCorkle back to serve for Oak Hill. Good dig. And we got a double hit called on Tiffany Valley. So the point goes to Oak Hill. Corkle back again to serve. That one barely gets over the net, but that is legal now. Point goes to Oak Hill. Golden Eagles not going away quietly. Battling back, trailing 18 to 10. Oh, what a block by number 14, Ashlyn Trainzier. Sends that one back over to Tiffany Valley side and three points in a row now for Oak Hill. They've battled back to within seven. That one just out. Another point for the Golden Eagles. It was an 18-8 lead for Tiffany Valley is now down to 18-12. All off the serve of McCorkle. Buzzard changes it up. McCorkle digs it. Free ball across. Buzzard blocked. Dug out. Change of pace. Good job there for the Golden Eagles. Buzzard finds the hole. Breaks the serve of McCorkle. Sophie's going to go back here to serve with the Vikings leading 19 to 12. Blocked. And drops on the Oak Hill side. Point for the Vikings. Buzzard with the serve. Vikings leading 20 to 12 here in set number one. Goes with the jump serve. From the back row. And that's going to go out. Back row kill there for Buzzard. Got a sub number six. Rachel Randall checking in here for the Vikings. Buzzard trying to finish out set number one, leading 21-12. And a net violation or lift on Oak Hill. Buzzard with the serve. Change of pace, good dig. Ingstrand with a nice dig there and a big block up front, number three, number 12. The point goes to the Golden Eagles on that play. Change of pace there by Baca. That's going to drop on Tipkinie Valley's side. So back and forth we go here. Oak Hill not giving up. Trailing 22-14 in set number one. Tight pass. Good recovery. Great recovery there by Engstrand trying to get that pass from Buzzard tight into the net and they get the point. Great effort there. Jansma back here to serve for Tipkinie Valley. Dug out, goes across. That's going to be tipped out of bounds. So that's going to be a point. The kill goes to Woodcox. Set point here in set number one with Tiffany Valley leading 24-14. Chansma back to the serve. 
And that's going to drop. Taylor Westgate gets out when to go down in the back corner. So the Golden Eagles not giving up here in set number one. Still playing set point. And that one's going to go off of Buzzard. Out of bounds, off the, out of the back line. 24-16 Ridgeway at the serve, the junior for the Golden Eagles. Another big serve. That's two in a row for the junior. She's going to have to finish him out if she wants to pull the Eagles back through. 24-17. Another one. She's doing a great job here. Three aces in a row. And Tiffany Valley wants to talk things over. Coach Eaton wants a timeout. So we're going to take another break. We'll come back here in just a moment. You're watching RTC TV4's coverage of Tiffany Valley Vikings Volleyball. We'll be right back. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, welcome back here at Tipkin Valley High School. Oak Hill trying to stay alive here in set number one, trailing 24-18. Ella Ridgeway has given them five big shots in a row. And that's going to be point number five for Ridgeway. Golden Eagle's not going away quietly. That one's tipped, dug out by McCorkle. And that's going to be blocked by Baca, giving set number one to Tippecanoe Valley by a score of 25 to 19. Tippecanoe Valley able to build a couple of 10-point advantages uh, throughout that first set. The Golden Eagles did not go away fighting back strong after trailing 24 to 14. They get it to 19 before the Vikings are able to get that 25th and deciding point. So they're going to switch sides here. Get set for set number two here from Tippecanoe Valley High School. We got all kinds of uh, good things going on here on RTC TV4 this week. We had a soccer match in between the Culver Cavaliers and the Bremen Lions just completed up at Culver with our crew from Culver uh, on the call up there. Uh, we also have a volleyball match going on over at Caston High School with the Caston Lady Comets taking on the North Miami Lady Warriors in a non-conference matchup over there. We've got some stuff going on tomorrow night on RTC TV 4. We have volleyball we have uh, Rochester taking on Wabash in a TRC matchup. That's going to start around 7-10 tomorrow night from Rochester High School. I'll be on the call over there. And up at Culver, we're going to have some girls soccer action coming your way. It's going to be Lady Cavaliers taking on the Lakeland Christian Lady Cougars in a 5 p.m. start. 
And some more volleyball action coming up on Wednesday up at Culver. It's going to be the Lady Cavs taking on the Lady Lancers from LaVille High School in a 6.30 start up there. Of course, Friday is going to be another big night of football action. We have Culver hosting Caston, North Miami hosting Wabash. Pioneer is going to be on the road. The Class A number one Pioneer Panthers are going to be on the road at Knox in what should be a good contest. And then, of course, the game everybody's going to be watching on Friday here at Tippy Valley with the Rochester Zebras taking on the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings in the Bell matchup. That is going to be a 7 p.m. start. You can watch that on RTC TV 4 or on our webpage, rtc4.com. Set number two underway here. Oak Hill with the serve. And Buzzard trying to start off the same way she finished with a kill. Good dig there by the Eagles. And they're going to call a double hit on Tipkinu Valley. So go the Golden Eagles start off set number two with the lead. Right on the line played by Tipkinu Valley. Change of pace and that's a good job there. Number 14, Ashlyn Trainzier, the senior, gets that one to go down. Lexi Carmichael here on the serve for the Golden Eagles. That's trouble, and Buzzard can't get it over. Oak Hill comes out, takes a quick three to nothing lead here in set number two. Anna Durkers is gonna check in for Tiffany Valley. And the kill. Like Shriver from the far side. Shriver back to serve. Blocked. Dug out by Oak Hill. Free ball crossed. Set. Long way. Free ball. Blocked. That looked like uh, Buzzard on the block there for Tippy Valley. Shriver, big serve right there. That's trouble. Oak Hill able to get it across. Buzzard changes it up. Tipped at the net. And a big shot on the near side, number 11, Jansma. Puts that one away. And just like that, we're all tied up at three. Shriver with the serve here for the Vikings. Tight to the net, and that one's trouble. Train's ear couldn't handle it. Tiffany Valley comes roaring, brat, roaring back taking a 4-3 to three lead. And that's an ace for Schreiber. Five in a row now for the Vikings. Nice serve right there by Schreiber. Tipped at the line. Back row. Jansma can't get it over the net. It's going to go over to Oak Hill now. Eagles trailing by one. Alyssa Carmichael back to serve here for Oak Hill. Buzzard gets that one to go over. Oak Hill cannot return the free ball. Giving the point to the Vikings. Anna Ingstrand back to serve now for Tipkey Valley. Nice change of pace. Found a hole in the front line of the Oak Hill Golden Eagles. 
Drops it in for the ace. Tiffany Valley leading 7-4 here. We're in set number two. Engstrom puts a little bit more on that one. That one's going to go out. Tiffany Valley on an 8-1 run here. Taking the 8-4 lead over the Golden Eagles. That one's trouble. See if they can recover. They do get it across. And that one doesn't go in bounds. Another point for the Vikings. Vikings come all the way back now, leading 9 to 4 here. And that one goes into the net. You can see some frustration here on the Golden Eagles. 10 to 1 run now for Tiffany Valley. And a double hit on Oak Hill. Might be getting a timeout here shortly. The Golden Eagles falling apart. Tiffany Valley scoring 11 to 1. Set across by Oak Hill. Behind the attack line and the kill goes down for Jansma. And there it is, the timeout for Oak Hill. Tiffany Valley leading 12 to 4 here in set number 2. It's going to take a break, be back here with more Tiffany Valley Vikings volleyball on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this. All right, welcome back here. The Vikings leading 12 to 4 in set number two. And what a serve by Engstrand. That one hit the top of the net, almost set on the net for a moment before falling over on the Oak Hill side. Changes that one up, puts that one across hard. Tiffany Valley has got Oak Hill on their heels. The Lady Golden Eagles don't know what to expect. They're changing up the pace on their serves. One's hard, one's soft, one's high, one's low. And they're leading 14 to four after Oak Hill came out and took a four to one lead here early. Tiffany Valley is dominating And it's going on the serve of Hannah Engstrand. Oak Hill needs to find a way to break the serve here of Engstrand. She has done a lot of damage here in this second set and continues to do so. Building the lead 16 to four now. Engstrom back once again to serve. Put some heat on that one. And a double hit called again on Oak Hill. Golden Eagles have no answer for Engstrom from the service line. Oh, the only way to break her serve, she hits the net, doesn't get that one across. 
So a great service for Engstrand. Finally comes to an end with the Vikings leading 17 to five. And the jump serve drops in for Kalina Selleck. See if they can make a dent here in the 11 point lead for the Vikings. Buzzard, that one's blocked. Recovered. Tipped at the line and the kill. Taylor Westgate, the big junior for the Golden Eagles, puts that one home. Cutting the lead to 10, 17 to seven. Selleck with the jump serve, that one goes long. Couple nice serves there for Selleck. Woodcox comes back into the front line here for the Vikings. Buzzard with the serve and she put a little too much on that one. Allison Benton's going to check in for Buzzard. Nice dig. Oh, great play. And a kill. That's number 11, Westgate again, but a great dig there by Benton. From the back row for the Vikings. So Oak Hill serving. Vikings leading 18 to nine. That one almost banks into the basket. That's going to trail out of bounds. So another point here for the Eagles after Tiffany Valley with a big lead. Oak Hill's battling back, trailing by eight. That one's trouble. See if they can get it across. Good recovery there by the Vikings. Set. Blocked. Far side. Blocked again. And that one can't get dug out. Good attempt there by Engstrom, but she couldn't get to it off of the fingertips of Bacchus. And goes out of bounds. Just like that, we're back to a seven point match. Blocked again. Chloe Price, the big senior on the front line for the Golden Eagles. Got to give Oak Hill a lot of credit. They're not giving up after trailing by 14. They've uh, dug back and are down by six now. There's some trouble. Good recovery, free ball across. So the point goes to Tippecanoe Valley. Back to serve number 11, Jansma. And the kill. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was with Tippecanoe Valley celebrating on that. Somehow, apparently, Oak Hill kept that ball from hitting the floor. I'll have to watch that on the replay. That was a interesting uh, point. Tippy Valley thought that they had the point and the Golden Eagles did not give up on it. So it is a five point match here, 19 to 14. The libero McCorkle back serving for the Golden Eagles. And another point off of the kill. <laughs> Just like that, it's a four point game here, folks. 
I said it didn't look like anybody was going to run away with this, and Oak Hill battles back. But unfortunately, McCorkle's serve doesn't make it across. It's going to give the point to Tippecanoe Valley. It's going to send Allison Miller back to serve here for the Vikings. Solid serve. Big block. And that was Woodcox on the block for Tippecanoe Valley. That was a big hit by Train's ear. That's trouble. Good recovery. That was a great recovery there by Westgate for Oak Hill. Oak Hill is not going away quietly here in set number two. That one's going to go long. Junior Abby Shaw with that service error. It's going to send Kennedy Brooks back to serve here for Tiffany Valley. Left-handed serve. Corkle from the back row. That's trouble. And that's going to be a point for the Golden Eagles. Lexi Carmichael, the senior, back to serve here with Tippecanoe Valley leading 22-17, set number two. Tippecanoe Valley leads one set to zero. Free ball across. Change of pace and a smart play there by Oak Hill. The senior trains here. Got some water on the ball, apparently. They're going to switch that out. Lexi Carmichael, the senior for Oak Hill. Smart play there. That's going to go long. Trainzier can't get quite underneath it and hit it the way she wanted to to bring that ball down. It's going to give the point to the Vikings. And Schreiber is going to be back here to serve. Tiffany Valley leads 23-18. We're in set number two here. And Buzzard's kill attempt travels long. It's going to give the ball back over to the Golden Eagles. Number three, Alyssa Carmichael. Back to serve. Set across. And what a smart play there by the Golden Eagles and the senior Ashlyn Trainzier sets that one for the kill. Back to within three, closest we've been since the beginning. That one might have been long, but it was played in the back row by Tippecanoe Valley. And it's a two-point game, folks. 23-21 and the timeout called by Coach Eaton. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching RTC TV4's coverage of Tippecanoe Valley Vikings Volleyball. Be right back. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Tom Kruger Construction, serving all of your building needs. From kitchen and bathroom remodeling to new home construction, you can always count on Kruger. Call or email anytime. Tom Kruger Construction. 
RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. All right, O'Kill with the serve, trailing 21-23. That one finds the line for number 11, Jansma, giving the Vikings set point here in set number two, trying to take a two set to zero lead over Oak Hill. That one's gonna go long. Engstrand. So the junior, Kalina Selleck, back to serve here for the Golden Eagles. Trailing by two, but it is set point for Tiffany Valley. And that goes into the net. Coming right down to the wire here, Oak Hill has battled back to within one, 24-23. Can they keep it going or is Tippecanoe Valley gonna take a two set to zero lead? Buzzard changes up and the kill and it goes down all the way back 24-24 here in set number two. Looked like a runaway for a while for Tippecanoe Valley, but Oak Hill has not shown any signs of quitting. Big time shot. Taylor Westgate puts that one home, and just like that, we've turned 180 degrees, and now it is set point for the Eagles. All the pressure has now switched to the Viking side. Set tight, good recovery. Blocked, dug out, recovered, change of pace. And that is it, folks. What a comeback by the Golden Eagles taking set number two, 26, 24. After being down by 14, So we're going to go to set number three here in a moment. I'm going to take a quick look over at Caston and the North Miami Warriors leading 23 to 18 over at Caston. North Miami leads two sets to zero. So the Warriors trying to finish off the Lady Comets over at Caston High School. You can watch that on RTC TV4. So they have some middle school volleyball players being recognized here in between sets. So on your right, you can see the backside of the sixth grade team. Lily 
Jessa Schroeder, and the manager, Olivia Jones, and the coach, Jenny Nelson. And this is our eighth grade, Shayla Wilcox, Abby Cope, Riley Holloway, Emily McGriff, Riley Long, Brooke Camp, Kennedy Gore, Aaron Graham, Carolyn Schitt, Lillian Hernandez, and Carly Hope, and the manager is Mackenzie Reese, and the coach is Chelsea Brubaker. Now let's see all these girls out in next year, especially you eighth graders will see you all out for high school. Congratulations, middle school. So some good recognition there of some of the younger Tippecanoe Valley Lady Vikings players coming up through the ranks. They'll be up here playing on the high school floor just before you know it. we got a good one going on over at Caston. The Comets trying to stay alive in set number three, trailing uh, two sets to nothing against North Miami. The Comets have battled back, and it's all tied up at 24. Watching that on RTC4.com. And the Comets have just taken the 25-24 lead. So they're trying to come back here and keep things going. Over there, Dakota Hayden on the call for us at uh, Caston. And Chris Stevens and Mike Bushman up at Culver call the soccer game with the Culver Cavaliers boys soccer team. Earlier this evening, they lost to Bremen. Final score, I think, was 4-0. to zero. I didn't see the final, but it was 4-0 to zero last time I looked. Uh, here at Tipkinu Valley in the Cancer uh, Awareness Pink Out game, uh, we've got a good one going on here. The Oak Hill Lady Eagles, Lady Golden Eagles, battled back from a big deficit early in set number two. I believe at one point they were down 16 to 4, might have been 18 to 4. Battled all the way back, took set number two with a final score of 26 to 24. And after two sets, we are tied at a set apiece here between the Oak Hill Golden Eagles and the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. I said this wouldn't be a three-set contest here tonight. Yeah, I would have called myself a liar about halfway through set number two, but Oak Hill wanted to uh, prove me right. So they battled all the way back. That was a great set of volleyball. Uh, both teams battling all the way to the end before Oak Hill takes that one, 26-24. So set number three is going to start off with the Vikings and... Shaley Shriver back to serve. And the kill goes down for number 11, Hannah Jansma. Starts things off on a right note. See how the Vikings can recover, recoup, regroup here after losing that big lead in the second set. Tips the net. And didn't know if that was tipped or not. And they're going to say it was not tipped, so that goes out of bounds. Giving the serve over to the Golden Eagles. Number 15, Ella Ridgeway, is going to have the serve. Buzzard tipped out of bounds, so that's going to be a kill for Sophie. And Angstrom back to serve here for the Vikings. 
She has done very well from behind the service line. Another great serve for Ingstrand. Buzzard out of bounds. So we're evened up here at two apiece. All right, the ball went underneath the stands over there. It's going to be McCorkle back to serve here for the Golden Eagles. Ball tied up at two. Set number three, that one's tight to the net. Good recovery. Blocked. Big block at the net by Buzzard. Randall involved in that as well. Buzzard back to serve for Tiffany Valley. Vikings leading three to two. Just about gets that one down. Free ball coming across. And that one goes into the net. Point for the Vikings. Buzzard with her second serve. Far side and the kill goes down for Chloe Reigns. So the serve for number five, Abby Shaw. Tiffany Valley leads four to three, set number three. That one's blocked, but it goes out of bounds. So the kill goes to Woodcox. It's going to put Jansma back at the service line here for Tiffany Valley. That goes out of bounds, so the point goes to the Golden Eagles. Tight one here, set number three. Tiffany Valley leads five to four. Oh, missed set that time by Randall. Just kind of rolled off of her uh, fingers. Didn't uh, get enough on it. So we're all tied up. Carmichael back to serve again here for the Golden Eagles. Nice dig, tight to the net, that was trouble. McCorkle was able to dig out the big hit by Woodcox, but her pass too tight to the net for the Golden Eagles to get. Allison Miller now back to serve for Tiffany Valley. A miss hit on the set attempt. Miller with the serve. Vikings leading seven to five here, set number three, well tied up at one apiece. And that's gonna be an ace. McCorkle couldn't play that one right, and it goes into the stands. Tiffany Valley finding a little separation here, eight to five in set number three. We saw set number two though, the separation doesn't put Oak Hill behind. They don't have any quit in them. The point goes again to the Vikings. Makes the score 9-5. And a big serve there for Miller. Okay, able to get it across. Tight to the net, that's trouble. What a recovery. And that goes down. You gotta give a lot of credit though to number seven, Shaley Shriver. 
That set was tight to the net. She's able to get in there and recover that without going into the net. Unfortunately, though, the Golden Eagles are able to put the kill away. And that's going to go out of bounds. So just like that, we're back to a two-point game. Junior Alyssa Carmichael serving for Golden Eagles. Vikings leading 9-7, set number three. Shriver changes it up and finds the floor. Brooks checks in and goes back to serve here for Tippecanoe Valley. Vikings lead 10-7, set number three. Left hand serve for Brooks. And that hits in for the kill for Chloe Price. Vikings thought that was going to go out and it hit just right on inside of the line. Point goes to the Golden Eagles. Trailing by two now, 10 to eight. Selleck with the serve. Buzzer gets it across. That's trouble. Good recovery. Buzzer sets it across. Tight to the net. They're going to call that one out of bounds. Just going to put Shriver back to serve. Vikings leading 11 to 8. Change of pace. Good dig by the libero. And that one's hit into the net. Point goes to Tippy Valley. That one travels long for Shriver. Ella Ridgeway, the junior, going to go back to serve here for Oak Hill. And that goes into the net. So the point goes to Tippecanoe Valley. And they're going to have the serve. It's going to be Ingstrand back to serve for Tippecanoe Valley. They have, uh, Ingstrand has done very well from behind the service line for the Vikings tonight. And there's a big block. Another big block. The whole front line buzzard. And Randall. Great play there by the Vikings. Doug. What a recovery. Can they get it across? And they do. Vikings reset. And the change of pace right there goes down for Oak Hill. Some really good play coming out of both sides right now. 14 to 10, Tippy Valley with the lead. And that one goes into the net for McCorkle. Sending the senior Sophie Buzzard back to serve here for the Vikings. Tight to the net, good recovery. And a kill, big time. But they're gonna say she was in the net. That was a big hit by Woodcox, but uh, she was into the net. So the point goes to the Golden Eagles. Shaw with the serve. 
good redirection there. Shaw with a nice dig. Buzzard from the back row. Shaw again. Blocked. And on the near side, Randall can't get it across. Abby Shaw with another serve here. Vikings leading 15-12. Shaw with a great serve. Far side, and that goes in for the kill for Woodcox. It looked like it was far enough inbounds right there, but Oak Hill, you know, they were playing that judgment call. They thought it was going to go out of bounds, but it was in by about a foot and a half. Vikings open up a five-point advantage here, 17 to 12. Jansma back, second serve here for her. Free ball across. Shriver. Shriver again. Gets that one down. Right down into the free throw line. And we have a timeout. Tippecanoe Valley has opened up a six point lead here in set number three. Leads 18 to 12. Trying to take a two to one advantage. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna leave it right here. And uh, you're watching RTC TV4's coverage of Tippecanoe Valley Vikings Volleyball. That is a lot of Vs. Be right back. to our coverage of Caston and they're all finished up so I'm going to assume that the Lady Warriors were able to come back and get that third set take the three set to zero victory over Caston back here at Tipkinu Valley the Vikings leading 18 to 12 in set number three Anna Jansma with the serve and she gets the ace so the Vikings trying to take an advantage here. Both teams with one set. Tiffany Valley won the first set 25-19. Oak Hill won set number two 26-24 after trailing by 14 at one point in set number two. So you can't count Oak Hill out. A lot of fight in these Lady Golden Eagles. And the block. Big block there for Train's ear. It's about the point in the second set here where the Golden Eagles kind of came back to life and battled back. And they get that one, for Carmichael. Golden Eagles back to within four. Blocked. Make it three. Senior Lexi Carmichael doing her damage again from the service line. Changes that one up. Blocked. Great effort there by Buzzard, but unfortunately the Lady Vikings not able to get that one across. And after being down six, the Lady Golden Eagles have battled back to within two. 
We're going to keep it here. We'll be back here in a moment. You're watching RTC TV 4's coverage of Tippecanoe Valley Vikings Volleyball. We'll be right back. All right, Oak Hill has battled back to within two, and that one sails long. For Carmichael. And in to serve, Allison Miller here for the Vikings. That one, unfortunately, a bad pass. A good effort there by Trainzier, but it sails out of bounds. Vikings lead 21 17. Miller at the serve. Oh, that's set. Uh, Carmichael couldn't get underneath it. It's called for the double hit. Miller trying to close out set number three here for the Vikings. And Oak Hill is going to take a timeout with the Vikings leading 22-17. You're watching RTC TV4. We'll be back here in a moment. All right, Vikings trying to put things away here in set number three, leading 22-17. Allison Miller back to serve. That's trouble. Misplayed right there by Myers. And the point's going to go to the Golden Eagles. Trying to stay alive here, trailing by four. Carmichael gets the dig. Great dig there by Carmichael. Keeps things alive. And that one's going to go down with the touch for Train's ear. The junior, Alyssa Carmichael, on the serve again. Tight to the net. And that one goes in a big shot. Shaley Schreiber gets the kill. Vikings inching ever so closer to taking this set and a two to one lead. 23-19. Left-handed serve from Brooks. And that one's going to be trouble. Good uh, change of pace there by the senior, Chloe Price. The junior Selick checks in, goes back to the service line here for the Eagles. Nice serve. From the back row, Doug McCorkle. Free ball across. Buzzard takes something off of it, and that's trouble for the Golden Eagles. Sophie Buzzard showing her versatility. She's not just a big hitter. She's a smart player as well. And we have set point here for Shriver. 24-20.
Great dig. And that's trouble. Another good play there by Chloe Price. 24-21. Ella Ridgeway checks in. She's going to serve for the Golden Eagles. Got a Viking player down. Hannah Jansma looked like she might have rolled her ankle coming down. Well, she went on somebody's foot. So she's going to have to come off of the floor. She's got two ankle braces on her ankles. So they're going to take a look at uh, Jansma over at the other, uh, at the bench. And it's going to continue to be Ridgeway serve here with the Vikings leading 24 22 in set number three. Buzzard puts it away. Vikings take set number three, 25-22. And they take a two to one advantage here as we go into set number four. The Vikings are gonna try and put things away. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come back for set four here from Tippecanoe Valley High School. You're watching RTC TV4's coverage of Tippecanoe Valley Vikings volleyball. We'll be right back. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd's Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader comprehensive care from head to toe online at woodlawnhospital.com please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production all right welcome back here to Tippecanoe Valley High School Steve Stricker RTC TV 4 sports director here with you this evening and uh, this one has not disappointed. I said at the beginning that I think this is going to be a good battle back and forth, that nobody's going to take this one in three sets. And it has not disappointed one, one bit. Uh, Tippecanoe Valley won set number one, 25 to 19. Oak Hill battled back out of a 16 to 4 deficit in set number two. And took that one 26 to 24 to even things up at one set apiece. And then in a good battle back and forth in set number three, the Vikings win 25 22. So as we enter set number four here, Tippecanoe Valley trying to put things away. They lead two sets to one. So Oak Hill trying to stay alive, see if they can force a fifth and deciding set. Or will the Vikings prevail here in the fourth? Had uh, some big games out of uh, a lot of players here. Of course, Sophie Buzzard uh, doing very well. We've seen uh, Hannah Jansma doing very well for the Vikings from the service line. Uh, Shaley Shriver has had some big hits and digs for the Vikings. Uh, Trainzier and Ridgeway both playing very well. Carmichael's, both of them. Lexi and Alyssa doing very well. 
Uh, Selleck has had some good serves. Abby Shaw has had some good serves for Oak Hill. So it ought to be an exciting finish here to this one. It's going to be Oak Hill with the service as we enter set number four. And it will be Ella Ridgeway back to serve. See a big week here at Tippy Valley. It's uh, homecoming week, and of course, it's going to be culminated on Friday with the bell game between the Vikings and the Zebras. Not only a huge rivalry game between the two schools, but huge implications in the TRC North Division this year as well as the Vikings have battled back to a 3-3 three and three record with a 2-1 and one TRC record. Rochester is going to come into that one at 6-0, and 3-0 oh, and oh in the TRC North. The winner of the game on Friday is going to have be in the driver's seat. with only one game remaining before the crossover with the South. All right, the Vikings take the first two points here on the serve of Shriver. And a little miscommunication right there between Carmichael and Price. Or that was Train's ear. And uh, the Vikings Pull out to a 3-0 lead. And that one's blocked and goes down off of the big hit for Oak Hill. Chloe Price back to serve. Don't think I've seen her serve uh, tonight here for the Golden Eagles. Has a little different delivery there, kind of short arms it a little bit, but she gets the job done. Has gotten two good serves across for the Golden Eagles. And the kill for Buzzard. Puts the Vikings up four to two here early in set number four. Engstrand is going to go back to serve here for the Vikings. Nice change of pace, and that's trouble. A little miscommunication there on the part of the Golden Eagles on who was going to set that ball. And drops in for a point for... Tippy Valley. Free ball across. Good recovery there for the Vikings. And a big kill. Number 11, Taylor Westgate. Gets way up over the net. Puts that one home for the Golden Eagles. Shaw back to serve. And there is a kill for Train's ear. Shaw serving again. Big time ups there by Baca. Oh, good recovery, but unfortunately, uh, Randall's not able to get it inbounds. That's trouble. It's going to be an ace for Oak Hill. So, just like that. Oak Hill back in front, six to five. Oh, 
Oh, good change of pace. Oak Hill was ready for it. And that was going to sail long. Was it tipped? Wasn't tipped. All right. Oak Hill in front now, 7 to 5. That one might have been long, but it was played by Tippecanoe Valley. So Shaw is doing very well from the service line here. Game set number four. And that one does go long. And the senior, Sophie Buzzard, back to serve here for Tippecanoe Valley. Just gets it over. And good recovery. Blocked. Nobody's wanting to give this point up. And that one's going to go out. Carmichael couldn't get it inbounds. And the Vikings get the point. Back to within one, trailing seven to eight. Sophie Buzzard back to serve here for the Vikings. And Buzzard from the back row. And no kills able to put that one away. Back up by two now, seven to nine. Lexi Carmichael, the senior Carmichael, is going to check in here and serve for the Golden Eagles. Oh, that's trouble. Tight to the net, and that's going to be four. A bad pass there on the set. Gives the Eagles the 10-7 advantage. Carmichael, oh wow, that was beautiful. Took some uh, heat off of that serve and drops it right on the other side of the net. And the Eagles are up 11 to seven here in set number four. Gonna take a break. We'll be back with more action here from Tippecanoe Valley High School. You're watching RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at First... That's the one thing as a broadcaster that uh, I don't like about volleyball. They give you a minute timeout and they don't have to use it all. It makes it very hard to coordinate commercials. But we are back. Oak Hill leads 11-7. goes down for the Vikings breaking the serve of Shaw and that's going to put Hannah Durkers back to serve for the Vikings trailing by three here in set four That one goes down for the Golden Eagles. Oak Hill not going away, trailing two sets to one, leading here in set number four, 12 to eight. Big shot, good dig, what a play there by Price. Was it tipped? Was not. Out of bounds. Now 
Allison Miller checks in. She's going to go back to serve here for the Vikings. That's a bad pass. Trainzier couldn't get it uh, cleanly passed to the setter. And Tippecanoe Valley is back to within two, trailing 12 to 10. Free ball across. Big time. Woodcox with the kill for the Vikings. Just like that, Tippecanoe Valley back to within one. Allie Miller with the serve. Blocked. Nice dig. Good recovery. Shriver. That's trouble. They got to get it back into play. And then across. Free ball. Change of pace. No kills ready for it. Not that time. Vikings have battled back, all tied up here at 12 apiece. Set number four. Allison Miller. That's trouble. Gonna be a free ball cross and they get it. And that one's put down by Woodcox. So on the serve of Allison Miller, the Vikings battled back, trailed by four. Now they lead. And she puts it into the net. She does her job, though, gets the Vikings back even. 13-13 here, set number four. And Selick's going to come in to serve for the Golden Eagles. And that's a big block there by the Golden Eagles. And back and forth we go. Back up by one now is Oak Hill. Selleck with the serve. And that one finds the floor for Westgate. Oak Hill now with a two-point run. Back up, 15-13. And there goes the kill for the Vikings. And the left-handed hitting Kennedy Brooks is going to go back to serve here for the Vikings. Trailing by one. Brooks with a nice serve. And Buzzard can't get it to go down. Nice dig there by the Eagles. And that one goes down for Westgate. Oh, Ridgeway is going to go back here for the serve for Oak Hill. And that's going to be a point for the Vikings. Back and forth we go here in set number four. Shaley Shriver back to serve. That one's going to be way long. Gives the point to the Golden Eagles. 
Back to serve again, Chloe Price. The tall senior here. That one's blocked. And put down that time by Rachel Randall. A back and forth battle here in set number four. And that one goes into the net. Alyssa Carmichael cannot get it over. So we we're tied up at 17. Engstrom with the serve. We've seen her have some very good serves back there. That one was uh, right to the back line. Buzzer gets it down. So the Vikings back up by one. Buzzard. Great dig by McCorkle. Blocked. Oh, great change of pace right there. Rachel Randall couldn't get the dig. Once again, we're tied at 18. Junior Abby Shaw back to serve for go. Uh, Golden Eagles. And that one goes down. Ashlyn trains here. Puts Oak Hill back up by one, 19-18. Buzzards blocked. Good recovery by Shriver, free ball crossed. And that one goes down again. And we got a timeout with the Golden Eagles back in front, 20 to 18 here in set number four. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Back and forth, here we go. Abby Shaw with the serve. Oak Hill leads 2018. That's trouble. That one goes down. Oak Hill pulling away a little bit here late in set number four. Trying to force a final and deciding set five. That's long. Shaw. Can't get that one to land inside the playing surface. The Vikings senior leader, Sophie Buzzard, back to serve. Just barely gets it across, but it hits. Buzzard digs. And it's blocked. Out of bounds, though. The point goes to the Vikings. Back to within one, 21-20. Oak Hill with the lead. Buzzard with the serve, that's trouble. And great recovery by the senior. Blocked. Twenty-one, twenty-one, coming down to the wire here at set number four. Oh, 
from the back row. Change. And the attempt into the net. So back and forth we go here. Uh, Oak Hill back up by one, 22-21. Lexi Carmichael with the serve. Buzzard with a huge dig. Vikings get it across. And unfortunately, Transier cannot get it across. What a dig that time by the senior Sophie Buzzard. Throws her body on the hardwood <laughs> I mean that is a tough tough play going away from the net to be able to set that get that back in tied up here at 22 apiece number eight Hannah Durkers with the serve and a big kill there from the senior Transier Corkle back. That's trouble. Vikings get it across. Transier gets it down again. And we have set point here for Oak Hill in set number four. Trying to force a fifth set. Shriver, good dig by McCorkle. Transier can't find the plane surface. 23-24. Miller back to serve. Set point. Set number four here for Oak Hill. Transier, good job by Miller. Tipped, and that's gonna do it. Oak Hill's gonna take set number four, 25-23, and we are going to a fifth and deciding set. Wouldn't have it any other way here. This has been a great matchup between these two clubs. Tipkin Valley took set number one, 25-19. Oak Hill battled back, took set number two, 26-24 after trailing by 14. Tipkin Valley came back in set number three, won that one, 25-22. And then Oak Hill takes set number four, 25-23. We're gonna find a winner here in set number five. They're gonna go to 15 or maybe even more, we don't know. We're going to leave it right here as the two teams switch sides and get set to go. It's been a great back and forth battle here on RTC TV4 between the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings and the Oak Hill Golden Eagles. we got a fifth and final deciding set coming up here in just a moment.
All right, welcome back here to Tippecanoe Valley High School. Where we are getting set for a fifth and final set between the Oak Hill Golden Eagles and the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. It has been a great, great match here tonight. I hate to see this thing come to an end. One of these teams has got to win, and we're going to find out here shortly who it is. All tied up at two sets apiece. Shriver's going to start things off here for Tiffany Valley, and that's going to go out. So the Vikings get on the board first. Buzzer, that one was tipped. Goes out of bounds off of the kill. Vikings up 2-0. Off the serve of Schreiber. And that one's going to go off of Miller. So the point for the Eagles. And back to serve here is going to be the Junior Ella Ridgeway. Vikings lead 2-1 here early in set number five. Ridgeway, big serve. And pass goes into the net. The Vikings cannot dig it out. Evens things up here at two apiece. Ridgeway's got a cannon for a serve. Buzzard puts that one away off of the block attempt by Reigns. In to serve for the Vikings is Hannah Ingstrand. Seen her have some really good runs from behind the service line. We'll see what she can do here in set number five. And it's only going to be a one and done with the kill there by Oak Hill. Knots things up at three. Chloe Price is going to serve for the Golden Eagles. Buzzer puts it away off of Price. Sophie Buzzard having a huge night here for the Vikings. She's going to be very tired and sore after the end of this one. And the ball goes down for Westgate. Well, like you would expect here in the fifth set, it's back and forth. We are tied at four with Shaw back to serve. And that's going to be an ace for Shaw. Puts the Golden Eagles up by one, five to four. a great play there by the Golden Eagles but not able to recover and Woodcox will get the kill tied up again five apiece change of pace smart play there by the senior Trainzier no kill back up by one Lexi Carmichael back to serve for the Golden Eagles. Blocked. 
But it goes down on Tipkin Valley side off of the block. So the largest lead of the fifth set now for the Golden Eagles up seven to five. And that one's out. Shaley Schreiber tried to get that one to find the side. And wasn't able to get it in bounds. Golden Eagles up 8-5. And that one was put down by Woodcox. Big time hit. It's going to bring Allie Miller back to serve here for the Vikings. Trailing 6-8. Miller with a knuckleball serve. Yeah, that's trouble for Train Zero, but she gets it across. Blocked into the net. It's going to be four hits for Oak Hill. Tippy Valley with a chance to tie things up here on the serve of Miller. Transier puts it away. Puts Oak Hill back up by two. Corkle back to serve. That's trouble for Tippy Valley. They get it across. And that one's put down. Chloe Price puts that one away. Puts Oak Hill up 10-7. We're getting into the waning moments here of set number five between Oak Hill and Tip Canoe Valley. Vikings uh, in a little bit of a hole here, trailing 7-10. We're going to leave it right here for a moment. Come back with more Tippecanoe Valley Vikings volleyball here on RTC TV4. Senior libero Brittany McCorkle back to serve for Oak Hill. Leading 10-7 here in the fifth set. That one's trouble again. And it goes into the net for Woodcox. Oak Hill's up by four with four to go. And that's going to be a a lift on Myers. Oak Hill is looking very good here in set number five. And they get that one as well. McCorkle has the Golden Eagles to within two here. Vikings need to break this serve right here. And that goes out of bounds, and they do. So some life left in the Vikings here with number five, Kennedy Brooks, back to serve. Oak Hill leads 13 to eight. Trains here has uh, really come on here in the last two sets and has a big kill. And we have match point here for the Eagles. And it's going to be the junior, Kalina Selleck, back to serve. Jump serve from Selleck. 
Buzzard come clear from the back row. And that's trouble. And that's going to do it. The Oak Hill Golden Eagles come roaring back. Take set number five by a final score of 15 to 8. And win this one by a final three sets to two over Tippecanoe Valley. So you got to give a lot of credit to the Eagles. Looked like it might be a three set route in set number two with the Vikings up by 14. Oak Hill did not quit. They came back and battled back to take set number two, 26 24, even in things up at one. Vikings battled back, took set number three, taking the two sets to one lead, but then Oak Hill came back, won set four, 25 23, and finally won set number five, 15 to eight, to take this one by a final of three to two. So congratulations to Oak Hill. They will advance uh, their record to 14 and six on the season. For the Vikings, they're going to set at 500 after that at 12 and 12. So we appreciate everybody that tuned in to tonight's uh, Tippecanoe Valley Vikings volleyball contest here on RTC TV4. Like I said, we got a lot of good things coming up here in the next few days. Uh, tomorrow on RTC TV4. We're going to have girls soccer up at Culver as the Lady Cavs take on Lakeland Christian starting at 5 p.m. And then I will be over at Rochester as the Rochester Lady Z's volleyball team takes on Wabash starting at 7.15. Wednesday we'll be back up at Culver for some volleyball action as the Lady Cavs take on LaVille starting at 6.30. Thursday, we've got three games on the slate, starting at 5.30 with some girls soccer up at Culver as they take on North White. At 7 p.m., Pioneer is going to take on Frontier down at Pioneer High School in a vo uh, volleyball match. And then a big matchup in Rochester on Thursday. It's going to be Rochester taking on Winnemac in a volleyball uh, match starting at 7.15 and then of course on Friday it all culminates with the Friday Night Lights Culver is going to host Caston at 7 North Miami is going to host Wabash at 7 Pioneer is going to travel to Knox in a big Hoosier North Athletic Conference matchup at 7.30 and then the game that everybody's waiting for homecoming Bell game, TRC North, uh, driver seat game, everything on the line with the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings hosting the Rochester Zebras. That game starting at 7 p.m. on RTC TV4. So I'm going to wrap things up here this evening. Oak Hill takes the match three sets to two over the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. Thanks for tuning in to our coverage tonight on RTC TV4. I'm Steve Stricker saying good night here from Tippecanoe Valley High School.